Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I took some of my self portraits. Now, I don't really like taking pictures of myself. I feel like most photographers don't like being in front of the camera. But as I'm stuck at home, like most of us, I don't have that many options as models go. I only have my husband and my dog Luna and those two don't really cooperate that much. So I'm resorting to doing self portraits. And by the way, if you need more ideas on photo shoots right now, you can check out my last video where I did a FaceTime photo shoot. I will link it in the description down below. All right, so let's just get straight to the behind the scenes. I'm starting off by setting up all of the equipment. I wanted to make sure that all of this is done before I start doing my makeup, my hair and putting on the clothes for the photo shoot because I didn't want to mess up any of that. A lot of you guys asked me to recommend you the backdrop stand or the tripod and to be honest, the ones I used I bought years ago, they're generic, cheap, they work great. So I don't really have a specific brand to recommend you guys. Today I'm using Canon EOS R with the 50mm 1.2 RF lens and my old 85mm 1.2 with an adapter. I'm going to be using an app called Canon Camera Connect that lets you connect your phone to your camera and use it remotely, which is super useful when you're trying to do self-portraits. So this is what I see on my phone when I'm using the app. It is very easy, very simple to use. You can change all of your settings like white balance, shutter speed, f-stop, ISO. You can switch on the timer option, which I did, and I used the two second timer. I thought that 10 seconds was a little bit too long, but two seconds worked perfectly for most of the shots. I set my focus to face and eye recognition, which worked really well, but what's also helpful with this app is that you can tap on any area on your phone screen and it will focus on that area. So I would usually tap on my eye to make sure that it's focused directly on my eye. So for this first look, I'm wearing this short bob wig. I guess I was feeling very French, so I also added a hat and a vintage camera to complete this very vintage romantic look. The backdrop I'm using is from Kate Backdrops. I will link it in the description with the 10% off coupon code. For light, I'm going all natural and just using the big window right in front of me. I set up my camera pretty high and angled it a little bit downwards to give me a more flattering, no double chin kind of angle. And here's the result. For the second look, I'm wearing this burgundy off-the-shoulder nightgown. I thought that the color looked very nice with the color of the backdrop. I let down my hair and curled it. And for the light, I decided to spice it up just a little bit. So I added a hair light in the back. I'm using my Aperture Mini LS 20D LED light with a yellow gel to make the light a little bit warmer. It's all about creating the contrast and again the warmer hair light will look really nicely with the more cool window light. So I'm gonna go more for like that like Russian photographer look, <laughs> you know, where they have just like a texture backdrop and like a girl and it's just a portrait, like simple stuff. So I've been playing around here just a little bit and I figured out that this was the best setup. So. I have the phone laying here so I don't have to hold it the whole time and I can I, I only have to like look down to see what's happening and then I like press and I can pose so this way when I have the phone like right here works the best Wait a second, take it slow 
I also shot these portraits right here with the same setup. I just totally forgot to film the behind the scenes for them, but I still really wanted to include these pictures here because I think they are my favorite from the whole set. I did change the blue color of the shirt to green. I think it looks much better. What do you guys think? Would you keep it blue or would you change it how I did? For the third look, I wanted to go a little bit more simple, so I wore this beautiful blue summer dress that I thrifted recently. It's a little bit too big, so I put a bunch of clips in the back to cinch in the waist. I turned off the hair light because I wanted these to be a little bit more moody and cool tone. And then I also decided to add a bouquet of dried flowers to the mix. The colors looked very pretty together and also it helps with the posing. Whenever you have a prop, it makes it a lot easier to come out with poses and make it all look very natural. That you're always on my I want to put my hair in a ponytail real quick. Like make like a messy ponytail, you know? Okay. Let's see what that looks like. so here is our last look and it is probably my favorite one excuse the exposure on this video my husband is still learning how to use the video camera properly for these shots i set up two led lights the main one on the left is aperture 120d with their light dome on the right i have one of their mini leds the one that i was using before uh, but this time i decided to put a diffusing cloth on top of it just to make that light a lot softer This backdrop is also from Kate Backdrops, again I will link it in the description down below for you guys. For clothing I decided to go all white as it looked nice with the brown color of the backdrop. I really like this lace little jacket, I thought that it looked very romantic and airy. The whole thing kind of reminded me of some kind of romantic book cover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you would like to see some more self portraits and I'll see you guys in my next one bye I need a man's help I do not need man's help
you know if you would like to see more Searle 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 Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go do my makeup now.